Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and in this video we'll see how we can configure Gmail in the Outlook. How Engineers Do It Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. So in order to start, the first step will be to remove the existing email in the Outlook if in case you want to do that. If you don't want to do that, you can start with the second step. So I'll just go to mail here and click on the mail and email accounts. In this case, I have already removed the email. So that's the reason you're not able to see that. If you had an email attached to the Outlook, you'll be able to see that and you can click over here and go to remove. So that's step number one. Step number two will be to configure some setups in your Gmail before you proceed with the setting up of account in your Outlook. So the first thing is log into your Gmail by putting in your email address and password and then go to settings and in the settings go for forwarding and uh, pop IMAP and go for enable pop and enable IMAP and click on the save. So this is going to take a little while so you have to wait till the loading completes and once the loading completes you'll be taken back to the uh, inbox page so again you have to go into the settings and you have to check whether that particular uh, option is enabled so you'll be able to see that pop is enabled and imap is enabled so step number one is done so step number two is log into or copy paste this particular link I'll be putting it in the description box below so you can copy this and uh, put it in your uh, web browser and in this, in this you have to select the allow less secure apps and you have to ensure that this is in on. So Gmail considers Outlook as a less secure app and that's the reason you have to do this. Before in previous versions this wasn't there so recently uh, this option also has come up and for several users you're, they're not unable, they're unable to set up the Gmail to the Outlook for this particular reason. So once both of these things are done, now what you have to do is go for Outlook, step number three, and go for File and go for Add Account. Click on Add Account and in here you have to go for Manual Setup and go for Next and go for Popper IMAP, go for Next. And here you have to just mention your name and the email address. And here you have to select IMAP and here you have to select you have to input the incoming mail server just like the way I have done so that's it and here you have to give the email address and the password ensure that you're giving the right password and you have to leave this as blank go for more settings Go for outgoing service, click on the tick mark here, go for advanced and here you have to select or add 993 and here you have to add 25 and here you have to add SSL and here you have to add TLS and go for OK and go for next. So once you got this completed window you have to click on close. Now you have to wait for a while till this page takes you to the completed page. Now you are all set, you are completed, click on the finish button and you can see that the mail is configured. So that's it about this particular video, I hope you enjoyed this video and this is a bonus tutorial in fact and my main videos are about uh, Katia videos but if you like this bonus tutorials I'm also going to upload uh, some of the videos which I think will be helpful for the users and the main reason which I have done this video was because I myself uh, felt that Outlook is uh, very much efficient as I'm using it in my office and uh, my work related stuff and I thought uh, this should also be extended to my uh, personal use as well. Thank you so much and stay tuned.